No, I'm not gonna lie. The only reason I watched this movie is because Jenna Ortega was in it. She's 19. She's 19. Calm down. Have y'all seen Scream? Scream 5? Let me tell you what it's about first. Alright, so 25 years after a streak of brutal murder shocked the quiet town of Woodsboro. A terrifying new killer resurrects the ghost face mask. As the deaths mount, mount up, Woodsboro's new targets must seek help from the survivors of the original ghost face attacks. Now, only Sidney Prescott, former Sheriff Dewey Riley, and reporter Gail Weathers can find a way to stop the killer when everyone is a suspect. Everyone. You almost caught that. Let me tell you the cast. Juno Ortega, you know, Tara, she plays as Tara. Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers, we all love Courtney Cox, bro, she, she's cool, she's cool. Uh, I think it's Mickey, Mickey or Mikey, I don't, I don't know, M-I-K-E-Y, she's a, she's a female. Madison, she plays as Amber. Melissa Barrera, plays as Sam. Um, Neve Campbell, Campbell. Plays as Sydney. Bro, if I'm butchering these names, I'm sorry. People butcher my last name all the time, bro. I'm sorry. My fault. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, Skeet, oh, Skeet Oldrich. Just spit over my mic. Plays as Billy. Uh, Dylan Minette plays as Wes. David. Our, A.R. Our, David Arquette plays as Dewey. Maybe it may, it's my handwriting. I can read the names. I can pronounce them, but maybe it's just my handwriting. Uh, Jack Quaid plays as Richie. Marley Shelton plays as Deputy Judy. Manson Gooding as Chad. Sonya, it's my handwriting, plays as Liv. Jasmine, Jasmine Savoy Brown plays as Mindy. Kyle Garner plays as Vince. And Heather Matar, Matarozo, Heather Matarzo plays as Martha. Tarazzo. That's a fire last night. It's hot in here. My fan is on though. Full blast. Alright, um <clears throat> Bro, I had my I had my doubts when I first watched this movie. I think I always do when I when I see horror movies like this, because I know it's just gonna be Bro, it's just a dude in a mask going around and killing people. That's not my type of horror. I like psychological stuff, stuff that plays with your mind, mind bending, crazy, makes you rethink your whole life type type stuff, you know. Um, but as I watch this movie and as I'm doing this review now, 
I enjoyed it. I really did. I'll, I'll share it with that at the end of the video, though. Uh, one thing I really liked about this movie is all the references. So I'm going to play a couple clips uh, throughout this throughout this video of what I'm talking about, uh, the topic that I'm talking about. Uh, the references, they made a lot of references. So in the beginning of the film, Jenna, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil a lot. So uh, in the beginning of the film, Jenna, Jenna Ortega, Tara, she's talking to, to Ghostface, but she doesn't know she's talking to Ghostface, the killer. Um, that, that's what they do in the original films. If you've seen it, that's what they do. So the killer will call the house. This, the girl or the man, whoever is staying there by themselves alone, they call the house, play a little game, three questions, you gotta get them all right or they kill somebody. That's what they did in this. Perfect, good job. Um, so as she, talking to, as she is talking to the killer, she, she references uh, movies. Um, the Witch, Hereditary, and I can't recall the other one, but those, the three, that she referenced in the movie, those are psychological horror movies, but as they had a different term for it, I forgot the term, I didn't even write it down for some reason, um, what's the term, what's the term, y'all just watch the movie, she says a term for it, um, <laughs> um, more in depth than see you have your different sides of horror one horror is like I said before and like Jenna slash Tara said in the movie uh, your regular just uh, slapstick um, cheesy you know dude in a mask going around killing people uh, basic jump scares ah ah you know you don't really think about go in depth with it, not, not like psychological horror. So that's what, that they reference that a couple of times in the movie, which is, I like that, which is nice, because this is essentially what this these types of movies are. Dude in a Mask has a past. I didn't mean to rhyme that. Dude in a Mask has a past, and uh, he's just going around killing a bunch of people because he doesn't like his life for some damn reason, I don't know. But uh, one thing that they did different in this movie, they really went in depth with it, man. They made a lot of references with Jason, uh, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, uh, the original movies, the original stab movies, scream movies, um, you know, a lot of a lot of that stuff. They had a lot of one one liners and stuff like that, which I really liked because that shows you how much preparation and how much thought process they put into writing this film. Uh, like I said before, a lot of other horror movies are just cheesy jump scares, bro. But this, this is that, but it's not. It's it's not. Let me talk about it a little bit more. So, like, it's it's jump scares. There is jump scares, cheesy jump scares in this movie. But also, there's uh, more in-depth jump scares. Not jump scares. More in-depth horror is what I'm trying to say. So they did a good job with that. They did a perfect job with that. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, you threw it back. Pause. You threw it back to me. I gotta pick those up later. That's the crazy part. <laughs> um, another thing I liked about the movie, the camera angles and all the tight spaces. Cabinet doors. I wrote cabinet doors. Cabinet doors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so the camera angle is all tight spaces. So, and like, I'm not gonna show it. I might show it. I don't know. In a couple scenes, this one scene, uh, Wes, uh, let's just say, like, he was in his house by himself. He was in the shower, gets out of the shower. He doesn't know Ghostface is in his house trying to kill him. Um, alright, let me, let, me, let me make this example before I keep going. Let me, let me make this example. So, say, like, you get out of the shower, you're home alone. And you go to get some food. You open like the cabinet door, and there's a killer in your house, but you don't know he's in the house trying to kill you. So you open the cabinet door. Y'all can't see. There's a cabinet down here. You open the cabinet door. It's in the movie, and the the killer's supposed to be right there, right? You close it. Bam! He's right there. Stabs you. Gunshot. Kills you. Snock stock. You're dead. They didn't do 
that in this movie. I was, bro, I'm not telling you, I was laying in my bed watching this film. I was on the edge of my seat when they kept doing that, bro. So, like, he was walking around his house, opening the, opening the refrigerator doors, the cabinet doors, like, getting plates and food out of the stuff. And, like, the movie's trying to make you think that Ghostface is right there when he opens the door. And whenever he closes it, he's right there. He's not. He's not right there. They did that. Oh, my God. They did that, like, freaking four times, bro. Like, four times. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it, bro. Like, I was literally sitting on the edge of my seat. Like, is he going to be there? Nope. Is he there? This time? This time? Nope. Th this time? Bam. Gotcha. That was perfect. I love that. And all the camera angles, the close-up, uh, wide shots. This is great. Uh, whenever, like, a person is laying on the floor, a ghost face is about to stab them. The camera's like right there in their face and you can see the intensity the, the fear in their eyes and the blood running down their freaking face i like that that's amazing so yeah i just caught that Hold on. yes sir all right the acting the acting i'm gonna show you um a scene from the movie with jenna ortega's acting bro pay attention to how she just Flips the switch like that. She's talking to them, and she's like, oh, can you guys leave? Uh, I need to talk to, to my sister. They're like, oh, okay. You know, regular face, stuff like that. Bro, as soon as they leave the room, it's, it's like a light switch, bro. <laughs> it's like a light switch. She just, as soon as they leave the room, she turns around to her sister, starts bawling. She just starts crying. Bro, what? How do you do that? How do you do that? That's so crazy. I'm, I'm meaning dead ass. That's great acting, bro. Bro, she just, bam. I mean, she was already starting to tear up a little bit whenever she told them to leave. She was already sad, but she didn't have any tears sliding down her, her, her cheek, you know? <laughs> that's just that's just great acting, phenomenal. And throughout the entire cast, everybody, not not saying everybody did the same thing uh, Tara did, Jenna Ortega did uh, with the acting. Let me get some more water. But they all had their moments where you can tell that it was great acting. Get you a sip. There. But yeah, great acting. As it should be. Alright. Now that I said all that stuff about the stuff that I liked. Okay, I thought I forgot something. A brain fart. Uh, that's why I have notes. That's why I have notes, because I've been forgetting stuff. It's going to be a long video. Alright, uh, what I write down? Characters, stupid ass mistakes, subdued ghost face, Dewey misses his shots like a dumbass. Alright, so everything I just said that I liked about the movie, let's turn the page, switch it over. The stuff I did not like about it. I mean, I'm not a freaking movie critic. Uh... Rotten Tomatoes, 100%, 0%, I don't give a damn about all that. I'm just giving you my true opinion about the stuff that I see in the movie and the stuff that i seen in the movie but I didn't like, the stuff that I like. You know, I'm just giving you my opinion, bro. Um, like I said before, there's two parts to horror. There's two parts to one movie where they did all the good stuff right, all the references, all the... Uh, they made you think about who's the killer, the actual, you know, they did a very good job about that, the acting, the camera angles. But then obviously there's another side to the movie, in every movie there's there's always, there's always 100% raw tomatoes on one side, and there's a 0% raw tomatoes on the other side of the movie. And they just calculate it up, boom, get your 75% meat, no, not halfway, meat, more than halfway, and bam. But uh, it's in every movie, this is stuff that I didn't like, that I noticed, um... 
Okay, so in this one scene, this one scene, uh, I don't want to spoil it too much. Let me rethink my words. Um, crap. Uh, I would just say, y'all should have already watched the movie. Um, so, so Tara is in the hospital by herself for some reason. Sam, her sister, asked the cop to stay there and watch her. But for some reason, he's the only damn sheriff in town. So there's only two in town for some reason. And he leaves. He leaves to go somewhere for some reason. And then she's there by herself. And then for some reason, <laughs> she's the only person in the hospital. I, I don't understand that. Uh, and Ghostface, obviously, he goes there. Starts opening every door. Actually, that wasn't him. Yeah, I was just watching the movie. Um, he starts opening the doors, looking for her. And then he finds her. And then he calls Sam, and then he's like, oh, I got your sister, blah, 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 well, I'm going to kill her, play the game, blah, 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 uh, stuff like that. But then she's actually stalling, because she knows he's there and stuff like that. And then uh, whenever he goes to, like, stab Tara, they, 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 the elevator doors open, and then Dewey and Sam, I think somebody else walked through, Dewey pulls out a gun, he's like, oh, I see you, bam, bam, shoots, shoots him. Yeah, he shoots him, and then he freaking misses. He's like, literally like right here. Let me go get my tongue. Hold on. Bro, bro, he's like right here. He's like, I see you. Bam, bam. Dude, Ghostface says, he says, he says, like he's freaking Goku with Ultra Instinct or something. He says, Weaves it. Freaking Funko Pop just fell. Weaves it. And then he's, whoa, he just misses the shots. Let me go put the gun up. I'll just leave him here. Bro, like what? You're right there. How do you miss? And then the same scene, I think this happened before or after. I can't really remember. Um, Dewey sees Ghostface and then he shoots him. He actually uh, hits him in his stomach or gut or whatever. And then, uh, he lies on the floor, he's like, ah, oh, unconscious or some shit. And uh, they're like, dude, he's like, okay, come on, come on, he's down, come on, come on. And then they all leave for some reason. They don't take off his face, to take off his mask, see who it is. They don't do it. You're a freaking, you, you are a cop. You're a retired cop. I know you have your handcuffs on you. You're going out chasing this criminal. And you obviously have your handcuffs on you. Do they take it back? Do the police force take it back? No, you have them. I know you do. So why didn't you reinforce freaking... Chain up, chain up the dude, take off his mask, oh, it's you, and the movie, just like that. No, this dude shoots him, he's like, come on, come on, he, he's, 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 he's subdued, come on, come on, come on. And they all take off running, and then he stops, they're on the elevator door about to leave, and then he's like. I gotta go back to finish the job, always shoot first in the head, they could still be alive and come back. They're like, no, Dewey, no, 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 <laughs> no. And then he turns around, and the elevator door is all closed, all suspenseful and shit. And he turns back around. He's like, all right. And the camera's like, following him as he's walking with his gun. The camera's like, right here. Bro, and then... And then as, as he gets to him, almost fell, as he gets to him, his phone rings for some reason and instead of Dewey just shooting the dude right there, he answers his phone and goes for his like, ah, gotcha, ah, gotcha, and, bitch. Then, and they fight and, you know, just watch the movie, I'm not going to spoil it, stuff like that, like, where's my note cards at? And they do crap like that, bro, that just pisses me off, that just pisses me off. And then... Stupid ass mistakes, characters, subdue, ghost face, misses shots. It's just dumb crap like that. Bro, they really made me look up. The movie really made me, forced me to look up how many, how many stab wounds does it take until you die, until you can survive it. Why does every movie do this, bro? If you get stabbed like 20 times in the gut, in the stomach, in the freaking hand, in the face, in the... Bro, you're not surviving that. I don't care who you are. I took medical class. Maybe you do. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Maybe you're like freaking Hulk or some shit, bro. 
But you're not surviving that. You're a human being. How do you survive that? It's a movie. That's what we got. It's it's a movie. But bro, that's just the that's the unrealistic uh fake shit that I don't like when movies do that. Like, come on, bro. She's not surviving that crap. And then, like, uh, isn't every horror movie, bro? When you think the killer is right there, when you know damn well the killer should be right there because he just made the noise right there is he gonna make the noise and then run to the back of the house hide and then as soon as you as soon as you get to where the noise is made he's right there oh wait there was two of them there was two killers i don't give a damn that still doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense huh huh he's right there what no he just ran to the back of the house that doesn't make any how is he right there what how is he right there that doesn't make any sense but that's what movies do and we still like him. We still like him. We still watch him. Oh my God. Um. After all that I just said, after everything I just said about this film, um. Personally, I enjoyed this film, and if and when they do make another one, I will be watching it, and I will. I think I will enjoy it as much as I did. I really enjoyed this film. Surprisingly, it was good. Very detailed. Good job all around. Um, I encourage you to watch this film if you have not, go on Paramount Plus and watch it, or just go steal it from your neighbor's house or something like that, like, like that, what, and then watch it. Um, uh, love you, man, stay hungry, stay humble. Peace.